Over the past decade, the number of students from low income homes has more than doubled in numerous school districts across the county, but superintendents say they are working hard to break down the barriers that these students face. News 11 Sarah Veronis joins us live in the studio with more. Sarah. Erica, I stopped by two local districts, Eastern Lancaster County and Ephrata, and both have some of the highest low income student rates in the county. In fact, nearly 50% of their students do qualify for free lunches, but the barriers these students face doesn't stop there. For us here in Ephrata, our number this year is about 43% of our students qualify for free or reduced lunch. It's a growing trend that school districts across Lancaster County are seeing. It has doubled here in the last seven years. It's been pretty accelerated. More students qualifying for free and reduced lunches. Very different here than it was a decade ago. The number of students coming from low income households at Ephrata School District has gone up about 3% each year for the past decade. The big thing is that they are eligible for free lunch and free breakfast every day and we certainly are reaching out to our community and our families to try to make sure that they're taking advantage of that. Now the school districts are making sure that these free lunches focus on nutrition. Each day the students get their share of fruits, vegetables and more. There are some requirements for healthy nutrition and teaching students how to eat healthy. So there are some other benefits to the, the free and reduced lunch program. But E. Lanco Superintendent Dr. Bob Hollister says the barriers economically disadvantaged students face goes well beyond securing a meal. The academic preparation also falls off. Um, we have some information that says that we're toward the bottom of the, of the county in terms of kindergarten readiness. And in an effort to level the playing field among students, no matter what their economic class, both districts offer free programs like after school tutoring, pre K prep and readiness instruction, and more. Cross Connection Ministries does a lot for our students. You know, Alanco Social Services Network does a lot for our families. Our philosophy is that we don't want students to not have access to things because of their family economic situation. Now, the economy has improved since the recession back in 2007, but district leaders say it's clear many families are still recovering. They are, however, staying hopeful that the number of low-income students will decrease in the upcoming school year. Live in the studio, Sarah Veronis, News 11.